Yellow! Today we will embark on a journey together and take an ironic look at Vinland Saga, the first episode of the first season. Why ironic? Because... And our story begins with a man named Thor stripping on a ship right in the middle of a bloody battle somewhere in Scandinavian waters. Despite of the danger surrounding him, Thor appears to have a luxury of daydreaming due to his superhuman abilities. He has the power to teleport from one ship to another and can easily take a small army down by himself. Thor's is so tough that even arrows don't dare to touch him. And even if they do, immediately disappear from his body. Well, this guy rushing towards Thor's is dumber than arrows. And it inevitably leads to him meeting his rapid demise. After showing exceptional fighting abilities, Thor's easily crosses the sea and now can enjoy the majestic but yet terrifying sight of burning ships on horizon. And after a two minutes long intro, two minutes spinners, who even has the patience to sit through a lengthy intro like that? Especially in today's fast-paced world where people have attention span of a goldfish. We jump back in the time, I guess, and high up in the mountains to see this little dude named Thorfinn, probably Thor's son, retrieving water from a cold stream far away from his house. And you know what? I'd just scoop up some snow from around my house and melt it down to save the trouble. That's one of the few perks of living on a block of ice. You can clean up your yard and get water at the same time. Multitask. Just follow the simple rule and stay away from yellow spinners. Snow. Snow. Moving on. Thorfinn's mother, Helga, sends him off to feed the sheep and milk the bowl. No. Now this guy named Ericsson Leif shows up sporting a fancy headdress and a luxury mustache. He tells some kids stories about his discovery of Vinland, a beautiful land filled with grass and sun rays. But since the kid don't buy it, and what's worse, start questioning his credibility. How can you say you're brave when you don't do any fighting? Shut up, you little brats, you see this hat and the pipe? Ericsson got them from the native Vinlanders for defeating sea monsters at the edge of the map. Get the hell out of here, you chumps and leave men speak. And while he is at it, Ericsson also takes an opportunity to molest a lady. Let me warm you up. You pervert. Mother, go to bed. Don't Wait catch a, a cold. Are you I'll saying this fine. is her mother? Like, how young do people start having babies in this village? The two men discuss increasingly frigid weather and ponder a potential to relocate to some warmer climate. You know, that some cocktails, palms, coconuts. That's not a bad idea. Then we see this guy. One of those who wear shorts in winter. You know this type. There is always this guy. Hey, do whatever makes you happy. As long as nobody gets hurt. I'm just saying. The next morning it turns out that Thorfinn is actually the captain of a long-distance ship and battles monsters on the... Oh, he's just dreaming, never mind. Meanwhile, Thor's daughter, Ilva, has grown up into a, quite a pleasant individual. Normal people would just buy a slave. And she immediately gets karma punishment for shit words like that. And who does she stumble upon in the snow? None other than our short-wearing friend, who has learned the hard way that showing off in the cold is a bad idea. In a world where people can be sold and bought like a bag of apples, it seems Ilva gets what she wants. Not in the prime condition. Isn't he already dead? His limbs are rotting. Uh, but rotten limbs and other obvious marks of death don't stop Thor's from trying to repair the guy. Dude spent the entire night and the morning out in the snow wearing this outfit, bro. He is already in a better place now. Meanwhile, Ericsson just can't stop telling Thorfinn one tall tale after another. Like the time he survived the shipwreck in the mountains. We ate ice to try to forget our hunger. Or the time their ancestors were forced to live on an iceberg because some scumbag took their land and they didn't want to be his subjects. My father and my ancestors would never run away like that! <laughs> Don't you just love the younger generation always knows better? Kids these days, am I right, Ericsson? Turfin runs back home to be a crybaby on mommy's shoulder and gets surprised to see his dad practicing first aid on a dead body. Turfin, remember, you should also do mouth-to-mouth -mouth respiration in between those chest compressions. I get it, you don't want to kiss a corpse, but just making sure you know. He's alive! Bro, with the skills like that, you'll put undertakers out of business. And they also have families to feed. After his few slaps in the face, a runaway slave reveals that he escaped from Lord Halfden because he doesn't like accommodations at his place. I hate that place so much. And right when we learn what a terrible host he is, Halfden shows up mumbling some bullshit like thing that looks good around someone's neck is a chain. 
Did you see Lenny's scarf? This thing is beautiful. Try it on and you will never want to go back to chains. Half then shows why the slave doesn't like him by beating up his own man and walking into Thor's house like in his own. Ever heard about private property? Bitch. Do forgive the interruption. All right, all right. Just next time use your fist. Thor's offers to buy the slave and shows his incredible bargaining skills. Cost to use, young ones at that. I'll give you three. What if I give you four? What if I asked to double it? Agreed. Yeah, with a negotiator like that, you will end up under a bridge in a box in no time, guys. He gave away all of those years and the man still died anyway! <laughs> and at the end of the episode, Thorfinn asks his father if they are really descendants of immigrants and what will happen if they have to leave too. You will live in another place, Thorfinn. That's what's gonna happen. Well, that's it for the first episode. I liked the animation and the 3D-like backgrounds. The only thing I didn't like was the snow. I don't like snow in general. And that little brat also, judging his ancestors' choices. You make your own history yourself, alright? They had right to make their decisions without having to ask your opinion. And if you spinners enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it, let me know in the comment or by just tapping the like button. Till the next time, cheers.